everyone is quite hungry now, right? It is cheaply. First of all, thanks for this conference and opportunity, and thanks to the organizers. I had enjoyed the, the dinner last night, and the performance was very nice. Thank you for that. Uh, let me introduce myself briefly. I'm from Korea, and I did my master's in uh, University of Science Malaysia under uh, Professor Lee. And I worked about the tropical black box. So now I would like to share this story with you. By the way, have you seen the news about the North Korea and South Korea meet each other this morning? Yeah, yes. It is quite impressive to me. Okay. So hopefully the peaceful mood is mm -hmm. ongoing from today. So let's start. So actually this study uh, uh, published in the last year, and this one uh, studied on uh, with the collaborators from uh, Westmead Hospital in Australia, Dr. Stephen Doggett, and also the uh, Lumen University from the Belgium, the Professor uh, Yuan Bielen, and also my supervisor, Professor Li Chaoyan. When we published this paper, the uh, media coverage was out together because uh, especially for the bad box, mostly they just look at the common bad box, which is the single species. But actually, there is also the tropical bad box. So, because of the publication, the people started concern about the tropical species as well. So, as you can see, um, there are ma mainly three different species of the human blood sucking insect. Uh, the bed box. One is the common bed box, which is um, uh, lived in the temperate and subtropical area. And the other one is tropical bed box, which is we have here in tropical area. So we tested these uh, two species of the bed box. So actually, they have different uh, territory each other, but because of our um, transportation systems and travelers, they are missing now. So from Australia, um, both species of bad box was found in the same location. So we should uh, concern about this both species of bad box. So as you can see, this is the common and tropical bad box. Can you figure out which one is which? It's quite difficult. So um, looks very similar, the behavior and biology also quite similar. So it was uh, difficult to me as well at the first time to figure out the species, but now I can do it. But for you, uh, I'll give you a tip to figure out the species. Uh, comparing this uh, Frothorex, usually the wider one is the common bed box. So, um, Actually, the management bed box, this tiny, very tiny human blood sucking insect is typical and costs a lot of power and time and also expenses. So actually yesterday, uh, Professor Lee gave us the talk about the IPM, the management. Uh, the most important thing is the inspection. So early detection gave us uh, the high percentage of the successful management. So, uh, for the inspection, uh, usually most of the uh, pest, uh, pest controllers, they use the bad, bad eyes, but if the infestation situation is quite serious, means a lot of population of the bad boss, it is easy to figure out, to find out the bad boss with the bad eyes, but if the infestation is very low, difficult. Two to three hours, more than the time, cannot find the small the insect, so uh, we, we use the dogs by smelling the bad box. It works well under the low uh, population, but it is because the dogs smart, so they know how to get the food for free. So they just gave us the false alarm, so it is quite uh, unaccurate sometimes. And also, uh, it is expensive. So there is an alternative way to monitor the bad box using the traps. So there are also many different types of traps, like a people traps, and sticky traps, or harvest traps. But now uh, the people traps are uh, commonly used in the world. 
But the problem is this. Um, most of the traps invented and produced in US, so they focus on only the combat box, not topical species. So my supervisor and our seniors wanted to know whether the traps works against the tropical combat box or not, and they found that it doesn't work at all. So this is uh, one of my research topics for my masters. So the people trap is simply use the uh, very, very smooth inner surface so that once they are uh, caught in the people, they cannot uh, escape from the people because uh, the combat balls have very, very poor ability crawling up on the smooth surface. But nobody knows about the tropical bell box. So what if the tropical bell box could escape? So we test it. So I did some experiment for that. I uh, compared the common and tropical bed box regarding the crawling up ability on the smooth surface. And then I remeasured the, uh, the print pores on the smooth surface as well. And then we explored the morphological uh, features of the insect. So we tested uh, two different strains of the combat box and four different strains of the tropical bed box. And also we uh, additionally observed the, the museum specimen from the Papua New Guinea. It is because uh, we wanted to see whether the pesticide resistance it influenced the ability of the crawling up. Because uh, before 1940s, there was no pesticide. So we checked, but there was no differences. So question one, uh, is there people traps working on the tropical bell box? Not at all. All the tested insects could escape. So we collected some people traps from US, the four different types. As you can see, the black bar is the common, uh, tropical bed box from the, all the four different types of traps. Just easy to escape for the tropical bed box. So all the traps are not working at all. This is the picture. So um, actually, I tested the adults, male and females, and also the nymphs. But as you can see, uh, even the tropical bed bugs, uh, both species of nymphs could not escape. So I will let you know the reason why uh, at the end of the presentation. So um, we wanted to know what is different between two species. So we uh, measured the pre pause. Of course, the tropical has the stronger pores than common bed box. So how we uh, measure it like this? So I just uh, put one each other, uh, every single bed box on the stick and connect it to the balance. And I put some clay on it. And when I approach the surfaces to the air bed box, they start to do some exercise like a chin up. So, the chunk, the clay chunk is going to move in. So I, uh, we measure the, the balance differences, the recording, and I pick some uh, averages and compare the uh, force between two species. The result was six times stronger in tropical bed box than common bed box. So that the tropical species could escape from the, all the traps very, very easily. But why? We want to know the reason why. So we observed the leg shape. As you can see, this is the uh, bed box, the leg. As you can see, the end of the tibia in the lead, lead line, uh, lead circles, there is the special organ called tibia pad. So we found that this pad is uh, used for the working on the smooth surface. So uh, the picture in A is the tibia pad is on this, uh, the smooth surface, but otherwise the, uh, on the rough surface they use the crawl. So we found that the bed box using different method to crawling up rough surfaces and also uh, smooth surface. 
So uh, we wanted to more about the TBI pad. So this is the uh, picture of the TBI pad using the SCM image. It actually consists of the bunch of the 10 inch hairs, which is looks like a um, super light shape. So the effects of the each hair is, has the flat and wide surface, so that this every single uh, hair is working as a suction cups, so that they can uh, kind of stick on the surface, the smooth surface. So this is the picture of the the. Uh, Talent hairs between common bell box and tropical bell box, there was uh, significantly different numbers of the, the hairs. So we counted all the numbers from four mid and hind legs and compared. The number was uh, much more in tropical bell box. So it was around 1.5 times more in tropical bell box. So obviously, the tropical bell box could uh, produce more pores the stronger force than the common bell box, so that it escaped very easily from the tracks. But you still remember that the both species of nymphs couldn't escape because the nymphs are sense of the TPL pad. So now we wanted to uh, explore more about this organ. So uh, our collaborator from the Belgium, he did the great job with the historical uh, images and he found that each the hair is hollow, the empty inside, and also the base of the root has some gland. So obviously there is some secretion, like a, a lipid or something. So yes, the tropical bell box the gland also much bigger than common bell box. So conclusion. Um, we wanted to tell them that uh, we should know about the tropical species as well, not only the common species, because there is obviously differences in uh, their ability regarding the uh, cloning of the smooth surface. So we found that tropical bell box has more number of the 10 inch hairs than common bell box, so that they can uh, uh, bring more powerful, uh, powerful pores than the common bell box. So uh, we, we wanted that the producers, they should concern about the tropical species. So this is study uh, saying that the people traps are not working on the tropical bed box. So we need to develop the new designs for both species of the bed box. So I'm concluding that the understanding the target test, the biology and behavior and the morphological features are very important to uh, successfully manage the test in the field. So now I'm still ongoing to know about the real purpose of this particular organ, why the bed box has this particular organ to escape just simply from the threats. No, I think uh, it has another religion. So we are still uh, looking at the uh, religion like this. This is the video for the tropical bed box, the mating. Uh, the male is approaching to the female and then they start to mating like the picture left side but as you can see the female is showing some uh, mating distance behavior so for the males it is not easy to hold the, the females during the mating uh, especially they do mate after feeding, free feed so the females, the abdominal surface should be very smooth so they need something to hold rather than uh, using their claws. So I think uh, the tibia pads has the role in the mating. So it was a short talk, but I recommend this book to know more about the bad boss. So uh, this book recently uh, published by Professor Lee Chavia. So there is all about the stories and biology and all the measurement. Uh, method about the bad box, modern bad box. So, if you want to know more about the bad box, I recommend this book. Thank you.
like the topical base, but they are have the same effect with the base, but that they are allergic to the human or something like that. Is it the same reaction or they didn't? Actually, it depends on the person. Yeah. So some people, nothing, no reaction at all, especially elderly people. But for me, I have some reaction, which is very itch. But some people, like uh, uh, one of my colleagues from China, Dr. Kai Dan, when he bit by the fat box, he just went to the emergency medicine because the systematic reaction was quite serious. So it's quite dependent on the person, the allergic reaction. So like my question is, like the topical one uh, have the same thing, like the like, same reaction of allergy. Like some people they will they will allergic for the not common bad bad bug, right? Are they like act the same or they different? It is actually quite related with the mental. Uh, okay. We 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 you know when we are watching the bad box on chlorine, even my wife doesn't have the bad box on her body, but still started very itch. <laughs> so, but actually, uh, just crawling on our skin, there is no, re no reaction. But maybe some people who are very sensitive, then, yeah, it also yeah, depends on the person. Thank you. Right. Uh, I would like, uh, on behalf of the committee, I would like to